Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Tuesday, 20 December, sponsored by the Arclight Summit. Register now to speak at the 2023 event. And if you enjoy Today in Lighting, please hit the like button. Here are the stories making news. Yesterday, we published our December issue of Designing Lighting, and Thomas Patterson and Sean O'Connor were named our Lighting Designers of the Year. Read the article to find out why. We did a deep dive on circadian effect of lighting. Everything you wanted to know is in the article, and we had experts from all three methodologies assist. So it's a very well-balanced piece. The IES is pleased to announce it's formalized an agreement with the NCQLP to assume management of their LC examination and recertification programs effective 1 January. Another very bold move from IES. The DLC has released a request for proposals for a consultant to conduct an exploratory analysis using application examples and retrofit scenarios to analyze the impacts on annual energy cost and savings for Luna qualified luminaires compared to non-Luna luminaires. Interesting. Dial Light has a new interim chairman, David Thomas, will assume the interim role until a permanent chair is found. Congratulations to Acuity Brands. A-Light, Eureka, and Luminous won a total of eight good design awards. Details at Edison Report. And the Dow was down 163 yesterday. The NASDAQ dropped 159. Acuity beat the trend, though. They were up a nickel. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.